What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to bring up one point that I realized in one of my videos that I made, the Fidelity Active Trader Pro how to set up in tutorial. One of the um, one of the fans sent a comment in the suggestion below, and I just making a quick video just to sum it up. And they were mentioning how support lines and resistance lines, if you create them, so like I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. So I'm just gonna make this really thick, so it just stands out for the purpose of this video. And I'm just clicking on the line and you can change the line thickness. So you can see that I've made support and resistance lines. And let's say you like I have the bottom time frame here, like I was going through two days or five days, you'll notice when I switch to the two day that they still show here. And then if I go to like the one month, it all carries over and you can still see the, the support and the resistance line all showing up any any time frame on the bottom. But the question was, if you wanted to make a new chart window, but you wanted to keep the same line, support lines, can you do that? And the answer is yes. So I'm going back to today so you can see it. And you have to click on this icon here that looks like a floppy disk from like the 2000s. And so you click on this and then you click save chart. And then you save the chart and we'll just make this like, just so we can remember it, support and resistance CQQ and then you hit save and then, then now this chart will be saved for you so now you can click on it and then you have it right here so if I went back to my one minute chart and clicked on this one you can go through different ones but if I go back to the support and resistance and I click right here you'll see that I have my support and resistance right here it shows so that's one way that you can save it and you can you can like make your charts you can draw and then you can like, you can put your arrows here like this. You go up here, you floppy, and then you hit save chart. And then you can make it your default. You can save it, save the indicators, save the events. I'll just do that. I'm gonna replace it. And then basically it'll have your new support lines. So now let's make a new chart and just show how it works. So you can click here. And let's bring up a new chart now. So I'm going to go to, let's see here, trade. Here you go. So charts up here, new chart. I'm going to link them because the reason I'm doing this so quick is you see blue here. You can click link for the blue. And I'm going to make this bigger so we can actually see what we're doing here. And then you would have to click on here. And then you can load the chart up by clicking support and resistance and then you'll have this come up again so it's kind of like a two-step method to be able to bring up your support and resistance lines as you can see this one matches this one but the way to do it is you have to go here you click on the floppy disk you already saved your chart because you saved the chart here and then you i labeled it support and resistance and now anytime you open up a chart so I'm going to open up a brand new chart here. And then what I do, let's just click here and not link it first and see what happens. If I just click here, so it doesn't come up unless you link it. So you have to link the blue with the blue to bring up Amazon and Amazon. And then it's already defaulting to that, but like let's just say it was on the one minute view app. It wouldn't show the same chart as you can see let me make this bigger so it's easier for everybody to see. It wouldn't look the same, but the minute that you click here and then you click on the one that you titled, it would show, and now it's exactly the same chart as you can see comparing this chart to this one. And I'm just gonna move it so you can see that they're two different charts. And then you can also, um, you can also float the window. So what you do is you double click or I have a Mac so you do like two fingers or like I guess it would be right click if you had like a PC right up here and you can export the window I'm sorry float the window so that means you can move it off of your screen and if you have like two monitors like I do you can take it off and you can put it on somewhere else so I just put it on my different monitor so you can have that up and have multiple charts up at once if you have two monitors so I just want to bring that up because uh, somebody left a comment in the section below and it's kind of hard to explain just by texting it but just all you got to do is you got to do your chart
put like your support and resistance lines, draw whatever trend lines you like, and then you just settings. I'm sorry, you don't do settings. You do the floppy disk, you save the chart, and then you can title the chart right up here and be like new chart, QQQ, save. And then when you bring up a new chart, you can do charts, new charts, link it, and then obviously make this bigger so you can see. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the floppy disk and click on whether it's new chart or the support and resistance, whichever one you want it to be. And you can see that you can see the new line that we drew here from the previous one. You will see that it shows up. So here's the blue line here and here it is here. So I just wanna make that quick recap just to show you how to use charts and you can float it by clicking up here. You can float the window which means that if you have multiple monitors, you can drag it to another screen. And I just think that's useful because you can have multiple charts up or have a different chart up and you can bring up like the one minute and the five minute if you don't wanna just have one chart up and constantly changing back and forth. So just something to think about, definitely just another little unique feature that Fidelity Active Trader Pro has. And I always like to try to respond to any comments that are made to try to help you out with your trading. And this is what's helped me be successful.